Are you interested in looking your absolute best on camera? Are you interested in being the most attractive version of yourself on and off camera? Then this video is what for you and it is all coming up next. This first one may seem like a Homer Simpson could have had a V8 kind of moment, but I have definitely done this and I know friends and colleagues who've done this too, is mirror check. Make sure that you check yourself in the mirror before you get on camera or if you have some sort of display, then make sure that you check yourself on that display before you go ranting and raving and wasting so much digital space on an SD card because you have just filmed a whole video where you had lipstick on your teeth. Yep. I've done it, I've done it before. And so trust me, so you just want to do a mirror check to make sure that all is good before you hit the record button. Other one is to believe it or not, this is one thing that I notice the most when I am coaching clients is number two, smile. The crazy thing is we can get so caught up in the expertise and what we're trying to share and what we want to teach and what we want people to know. And especially if it's like mindset or like something really serious and like numbers driven or education or whatever. And we can get so caught up in like telling it and sharing it and we lose all of this. And then we just end up being on camera and while people might want the information that we're sharing, it's like, can you smile? See, see, so yes, there are ways to share your information in a smile. So the more that you smile when you are sharing your information, it is going to be captivating. Something simple, but trust me, we forget to do it. So again, you can have some sort of mirror or display, depending on what type of camera you have, that shows you back that image of yourself so you can catch yourself if you have lost your smile. All right, and number three, uno, dos, tres. Number three is eye contact eye contact so i know whatever kind of dslr you might be using or if you're using your phone it can feel a little funny when you're initially being on camera and it's like where do i look there's nobody here i'm talking to who well you're talking to a person who is on the other side of that screen and they are seeing you when you look directly into the lens and so this is really important i know especially with like zoom or any type of live video it gets really weird because maybe where your display of the person that you're interviewing is and then where you actually are or where your camera are that can be so different but try to maintain contact with the lens like if you are doing a podcast interview let's say for example and you guys are using zoom or a similar platform that works very similar to to zoom what you want to do is occasionally you can look at the person but if this is something that's going to go public you want to spend most of your time looking into the lens maintaining eye contact with the lens because that is making eye contact with the person that is going to be watching it and it can be really awkward i don't know if you've seen it but i've seen some podcast interviews where the person is looking over here and the video is over here and you're either looking up their nostrils or you're looking at the side of their face and it's just awkward for everyone involved and so that's what you want to try to do just a quick tip again whether you're doing lives or you're using your lens and if you are using your camera then turn your camera on the back side so that you're seeing this lens here and it's probably more like this but turn it this way so that you're actually looking into this right here which is your lens versus actually kind of looking into that big screen and then just looking at your whole face do 
your mirror check before you do that. But that is a great way to do it. Plus the cameras on this side are so much better than the other side display on our camera. So do keep that in mind. Number four is solids are best. So what do I mean by that? I mean, this is one of the things that I learned very early on in broadcast and all of that good stuff. And so much of what I've helped like clients that I was doing makeup for, whether they were real estate agents or whatever they were doing in the world. You don't want to be too busy on camera. For example, I have this American Apparel black and white turtleneck that I absolutely love. It is so comfy, it just fits me snug. But when I wear it on camera, because it has a striped print, sometimes it can look like it is some sort of hallucinogenic, you're on psychedelics, and it is just like really makes people dizzy. And the last thing you wanna do if you are trying to be attractive on camera is to make people dizzy. Unless maybe you're trying to hypnotize them and do some sort of third dimension, get them out of their head by neural beats meditation. But outside of that, wearing solid colors is best. Now, are there some solid colors? And so yes, there are some colors that are going to truly complement your skin tone, they're gonna complement your eye color, and all kinds of cool things like that. And that is one of the things that I teach my one-on-one -on -one clients. But just know that solids are best. But also too, know that things like white and colors like that are going to make you look lar larger and bigger. And depending on you know how you wanna be seen, just know that, that whites are gonna make you look larger, darker colors if you're wanting to kind of slim down or whatever, but there are some really cool cool like complimentary colors that are going to make your skin tone or your eyes really pop on camera. But we digress into number one, cinco, hydrate. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. Sometimes I have to do cool things like put lemon, put cucumber in the water, make it fizzy, blah, 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 whatever to make sure. But Hydrate, if you're talking about you want you know, your skin to look really well on camera or you wanna make sure that you don't have any sort of puffy eyes or you've got allergies, things going on, just hydrate. Sometimes when we're being on camera, we don't really think of ourselves in the same way that celebrities do, but celebrities do so much so that they look good to us when we see them on camera. Ever kind of business that you have, a coaching business, a product or service business, influencer, or you just wanna be here on YouTube and collect coins from views. Why not treat your skin the best you possibly can? And while buying expensive topical treatments is really great and having an epic spa day, but a lot of us just forget to hydrate. Now, one trick you can use if you do deal with like puffier eyes or from allergies or maybe lack of sleep, then you can put some little tea bags on top of your eyes. You can leave them on your eyes for about five to 10 minutes, lay down, relax, listen to some chill music or your audio book or whatever you do, and that will help to bring the blood circulation, which will help to drain the lymphatics there and help to reduce the inflammation under los ojos, your eyes. Out of my Spanglish and into <laughs> number six, lighting, yes. So this is one of the biggest things. Outside of having really great audio quality, the lighting quality would probably be the next thing. People think it's all about having some fancy smancy camera with this gadget and it can shoot in 4K and it can do this and it did it. Nope. If you can have good quality audio and you have good lighting, then you're gonna have a good video and not only that, you're going to look and sound great on camera. What I would recommend, so let's say we're balling on a budget and we're about to do our YouTube setup. So one of the things I used to use when I first started making YouTube videos was uh, this Cowboy a Lighting Studio softbox set. So you can get it just by itself, just one is going to do you really good or you can also get a ring light. Ring lights are really good because they're going to have that even lighting which is going to help you look 
flawless. Soften wrinkles, soften any kind of any kind of texture on your face, whether you got a breakout or that one pimple that's just like popped up out of nowhere, whatever it is, it is going to just smooth everything out. No, you want kind of soft lighting. Now, if you are really balling on a budget and you're like, I'm not ready to make the investment, I don't even know where to start, and you just kind of want to test out what you want to do with video, then the sun, I saw the sun. Is it the sun or the sun? It was the sign. Well, anyway, I saw the sun. <laughs> so if you see the sun shining in one of your windows in your home, then that is a great source of natural light. Put up your phone in front of the window or your laptop or your camera, whatever you're using to film yourself, put it up in front of a window. Now, if it's at a time of day where you are getting like harsher light through your window, is burning your eyes or you can't really see, then use a like white kind of curtain to put over that window so that you're going to get softer light beaming on your face and you're still gonna get that soft light that Barbara Walters and every Kardashian actually has just from natural sunlight. If you are outside, then try to get in the shade, try to find some shade because direct sunlight can be really harsh, not to mention you're gonna be squinting and nothing about squinting looks good on camera. Save your bedroom eyes for the bedroom, all right? And so what you wanna do is again, if you're outside, just get in and find some shade because that's going to give you that softer diminished light. It's kind of when the light is kind of just falling off evenly, it is going to give you that more flawless, even skin, even texture, even tone that you're looking for that is going to make you look amazing. And number seven, the number seven way to look amazing on camera is to remove the uhs and the ums. So one of the things that makes us look really attractive is when we sound really confident. So just a minute ago, I kind of alluded to your audio quality in your videos. And again, over the visual, over getting a camera, I would say get you a microphone that is going to have really good sound. Because people can kind of stand through watching a video that doesn't look that good, but they can't sit through crackling sounds, a whole bunch of background noise, all of that kind of thing. So get you something from Amazon, something that's going to make you sound great. But that's not even what number seven is. Number seven is remove the filler words. So remove your filler words. That is number seven. So what are filler words? Those are things like, um, you know, um, and um, um, uh. And then so I was like, the like, a lot of us will do like, I know that I can do that a lot. So remove those. And the cool thing about post-production, if you are not doing a live, then you actually get to do this in post-production. So every time that you hear yourself saying one of your filler words, the uh, the um, the ah, and we all have those different go-to filler words for us when we're basically system is recalculating. Crazy thing about when our system is recalculating though, we don't seem so confident. We don't seem so attractive in that moment when we are computing what we are going to say. So what you want to do is really work on trying to remove those words. And I would say, yeah, you get the benefit in pre-recorded things like post. I'm going to edit this video. If I look back and I hear a whole bunch of, uh, like, um, then I can remove those from the video. However, I really work on training myself to not use those. There are instances where I may be doing a podcast, live recording or live on IG or live on Facebook or some other platform, and I can't have the benefit of post editing all of those filler words out. So this is where the planning and preparation comes in and 
shameless plug and segue into if you are looking for what to say on camera so that before you get on camera, you actually don't have those filler words. You not only look attractive, but you sound attractive. Then join me for the free kill it on camera challenge. It is six days of me pouring into you, sharing an amazing formula that I use to make consistent content right here on YouTube and every other social platform that I might be on. So I am sharing that with you. It's going to be so much fun. We just finished one and I can't wait to do the next one and I can't wait to meet you. So sign up for that. I've got the link below for that, but you know what? Sharing is caring. So if you like this video or know someone who would, then share it with them. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and switches for watching. I heart you. I'm out. <laughs>